In San Francisco, a musical theater company says that the ticketing platform that they've been using for over a decade hasn't paid them the proceeds of their latest show. ABC 7 News reporter Luz Pena spoke with Musical Theater Works and the Better Business Bureau, which confirmed there are multiple groups waiting to get their money. This is a story you'll see only on 7. After a week of the exhilarating show, The Music Men, by the San Francisco nonprofit Musical Theater Works, their team realized their proceeds had not come in. We've reached out at least a dozen times and gotten the same automatic response. Since May, Christina Lasso and her team have been trying to get a response from Brown Paper Tickets, the ticketing platform they've been using for over a decade. This company owes them over $14,000 in show proceeds. So several months without getting paid, how is this impacting your nonprofit? A lot. Yeah, I mean, it's a substantial chunk of our income. Brown Paper Tickets is a Seattle-based company, musical theater works filed a complaint with the Seattle branch of the Better Business Bureau and then took it a step further. And we also reached out to the Attorney General of Washington. Turns out Christina and her team are not alone. Joel Hoffman with the Santa Rosa nonprofit Compassion Without Borders recently gathered ticket money after a year and eight months of waiting on brown paper tickets. They held on to $20,000 in ticket proceeds for us. I kept emailing them saying, where's my money, where's my money? This Bay Area comedian had to wait a year for the proceeds of one of her shows. For me to get my two hundred and eighty one dollars in 2020 the washington state attorney general filed a lawsuit against brown paper tickets last year they announced an estimated 45,000 event organizers and others would receive a total of approximately nine million dollars from the ticketing company but even after that lawsuit this year alone the better business bureau has received 162 complaints against brown paper tickets on the BBB's website, they have an F rating. We're seeing that on the business side, maybe it's a business, as in this case, that hosted a production with selling tickets through brown paper tickets, uh, and they did not receive those funds when those, once those tickets were sold. But we're seeing it from the consumer side as well. We reached out to brown paper tickets and did not get a response. Now, other nonprofits and small business owners are banding together in search of a solution. I say just stay with it. Don't let brown paper ticket take your money. In San Francisco, Luz Pena, ABC 7 News.